today we celebrate World Environment Day with a call to beat plastic pollution. My thanks to the Ministry of Ecology and Environment for organizing national celebrations in Shandong, a province renowned for its beauty and biodiversity. China has shown strong leadership to protect and restore such national splendor. Domestically, China is pursuing low carbon, high quality development, guided by the vision of ecological civilization. Air and fresh water quality have improved in recent years. And at the international level, China led on the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. This global deal, which was landed under the Chinese presidency at the COP15, could be transformative for biodiversity, upon which we all depend, our health, our prosperity, and indeed our very existence. UNEP looks forward to working with China on implementing this framework. Pollution is one of the five drivers of biodiversity loss, alongside changing use of sea and land, over-exploitation of species, climate change, and invasive species. And we must address all five to protect and restore nature. But World Environment Day this year zooms in on plastic pollution, which is choking our ecosystems, warming our climate, and very likely damaging our health. And the truth is we can't recycle our way to a pollution-free world. Change has to happen across the whole life cycle. We must redesign products, packaging, and processes to use less plastic. China is and must remain a major player in this great task. China is a strong supporter of the Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee that is working on a global deal to end plastic pollution. And China has taken steps to reduce plastic pollution at home, such as phasing out single-use products. That is something we very much welcome. Nonetheless, China remains a major producer and consumer of plastic, a material upon which we all depend. We therefore ask China's leaders, and indeed the leaders in every nation, to do more. We also need the private sector in China to step up, not just by engaging with the Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee, but also by innovating away from plastic pollution, and to do so straight away. Representing 18% of the world's population, Chinese citizens can also make a huge difference by changing their relationship with plastic. Beating plastic pollution is a truly global effort. But if China can replicate the leadership it showed on the global biodiversity framework, it can surely drive the whole world forward on the plastic side as well. On this World Environment Day, I call on all of China to unite and fight against plastic pollution.